so the the disambiguators yeah and that's actually what that's what peter williams calls them so and there's been a few other scholars who have done work on this and so the disambiguation element of the argument comes from peter williams and i've also sharpened that a bit in my forthcoming peer-reviewed article pretty much um about 75 percent of the names in the Gospels and Acts, or 90, it depends kind of what criteria you use, uh, somewhere in that range of 75% to 90% of, of persons in the Gospels and Acts whose names are disambiguated, like uh, Simon Peter, you know, you mentioned that, you know, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, so Jesus and Simon are both popular names. 75 to 90% of names that are disambiguated are like the top five names. They're the most popular names. And so that is another element, like a feature of the accuracy of naming patterns that would be quite hard to mimic. 